What is up guys? I'm going to show you one of my best themes that I believe I have ever done. I'm also going to show you a technique that has never been done before. I truly believe that nobody has ever done this technique. So if you love to theme your Android device, you have to watch this video. I know it seems a little long, but trust me, I want to inspire other themers out there with this technique so that hopefully we can make Android much more bigger. This is definitely going to change the way we theme our device and it's going to open up a lot of doors. So this theme or this whole entire tutorial is mainly for advanced users to intermediate. Don't feel discouraged though if you are a newbie or not too sure you just got an Android phone. Make sure you check out my other video up here. Uh, which is how to theme your Android phone like a boss. That's more for newbies. And then maybe jump it up to my other video, how to theme your Android phone like a super boss. Once you watch those videos, it'll help you understand more of this video. Anyway, enough chatting, let's get started. Okay, you guys ready to see Mega Boss? There it is, but wait for it. Look at that. How cool is that? I have yet to see anybody apply that technique to a theme and hopefully that will inspire people to really push theming to the limits. So let me give you a quick walkthrough. This is a theme that was created by uh, Colorful Visuals. Of course I tweaked it to fit more of my needs. So one, a couple of things that I wanted this theme to be is more dynamic. So as you can see I can move things around. You know part of the other theme is that you had the bottom dock uh, was part of the, the background and you really couldn't tweak things like that. Um, the other thing is that you're forced to just use one screen. With this one you can have basically unlimited amount of screens or as many as Android permits. Um, this is probably one of my favorite uh, uh, themes and I'm really gonna stick with this one. Uh, so let me show you how I created this monster and if you haven't seen my other videos please watch them first because I'm really gonna try and do this as quickly as possible uh, and you have to know a little bit more about theming. The first thing that you want to do is do a restore from Nova. Okay, So I am using Nova so go ahead and go into backup and then click on restore. You will see the mega boss um, restore file, go ahead and click on that or push on that. Everybody gives me beef. Click, it's not a computer anymore, it's not a mouse. Anyway, um, go ahead and do that and it will bring up the proper grid which I believe is 7x7 seven seven, and kind of put everything in, in, into place. The next thing is creating all of the different widgets, okay? Now in this case, this is a Google Drive widget. Again, this is, I'm gonna talk a little bit more intermediate because otherwise we would, this video would be an hour long. So that is a Google widget. Now this is a hidden folder. You guys should know how to do this. If you follow my videos, so those of you that are newbies or have never done this before, make sure you watch my other boss videos because I explain how all of this is done. So these are all hidden folders, okay? And th the reason why I like this theme is because I have everything here. So I have my office stuff, my miscellaneous, my social, and then my media, all in the home screen, okay? Now this is a UCCW widget. A lot of people have problems, so I am going to show you how to do this one. Okay, this is two of them. Hold this down, go to widgets. It just seems a lot of people are having issues with this one with my other one, so I just kind of want to quickly uh, go through that one. Go to ult ultimate custom widget. Okay. Now it doesn't really matter which one you pick. I always prefer to go to the, with the one by one because Nova allows you to resize, so it really doesn't matter. Now you're gonna see, if you look at my zip file that I've included down below, you're gonna see a lot of these. The one that you wanna do is weather icon and temp four by two. I believe this is the one. Go ahead and click on that, there you go. That's the one. And then you just wanna resize it and make sure that it's proportion. There it is, okay? That's it. It was that easy. Oops, I clicked on it. Same thing with this one. This one here is, I believe, uh, let me see here. Go ahead and click on widgets. Do the restore from UCCW. This is really easy, guys. It's mainly restore, again, one by one. And I believe this one is the city and condition, okay? Now, you're going to have to tweak your city and uh, depending on where you live. Okay, not the condition. The condition is actually getting it from the GPS. Go ahead in there, okay. Hit resize. Now it's going to say Vancouver, BC, and then of course fair. So just come in here and then easily change this. Now the way you do it is you click on static text, 
go to text okay and then just change that to whatever it is that you want okay I just changed mine to Los Angeles oh, capital L okay Los Angeles and then uh, C A oops C A there we go okay and that's it very easy guys <laughs> nothing more to it than that here is this is a minimalistic text okay so once again do a restore the one by one widget is fine resize it and then click on restore mega boss week that is the what the file that you need okay and then after that just make sure that you resize it like this as you can see 100% to the left 100% to the right and that will do that okay now on the right side you have the calendar okay this is simple calendar widget I'm not sure but I believe this is a paid widget and please support developers guys do not pirate this stuff um, this is the reason why we have these cool stuff otherwise you know these developers will just go to a different platform anyway mega boss restore the mega boss file and it will theme like this my calendar okay now as you can see resize I've resized it to this uh, amount um, this one's really easy this is called I believe it's called uh, AIX weather AX weather um, I did, that's just one of them and I like this weather widget because it gives me the graph of how the weather is going to be throughout the day. Um, this one here is called Pure Music Widget. Now with this one here, uh, do the 4x1 if you can because this one does matter. Um, text color. Use color picker. Now you're going to have to use your best judgment to find that purple that matches. Let me go ahead and exit right here. Okay. I've also, what I've done, let me just show you. I've uh, pushed show previous stop button right here for four by one so that it gives me this button here of course that is if you'd like it if not no worries okay now let's move on to the next left side this is just recommended apps so this one's really easy let me go ahead and close show you how that's done now that I think about it it's actually pretty easy now that I've did all the legwork for you guys um, let's go ahead and I think it's Google Play yeah Google Play Store Play recommendations, okay? All you have to do is find that one. I prefer doing apps. I like to see what recommended apps Google wants to um, offer. Do that, and this is my library. Same place, just to stretch it out. And that's basically it. So how did I make this um, multi home screen, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's called a wallpaper, okay? Let me show you really quick. First thing you want to do is click on wallpapers, live wallpapers, and the one that you want to use is multi-picture live wallpaper, okay? Now this one's going to take a little bit of a learning curve, so let us let me show you how this one works. So this is completely new. Go ahead and click on settings, okay? Now there's common settings and then there's screen settings, okay? Common, common settings are the settings that are shared throughout all of the different home screens. And then the screen settings are obviously individual settings for that particular screen, okay? So for example, common settings, picture source. Now in that zip file that I've included, I have a folder called Megaboss Wallpaper, okay? So what you wanna do is click on picture source and you wanna tell this widget where your pictures are located so the folder path you can see here is storage SD SD card 0 DCIM mega boss wallpaper so if you just dragged all the files like you should have into your SD card or internal storage you should be able to see this okay or find it now just make sure that it's you'll see home left and right go ahead and click on OK that way you're telling this widget this is where my my images are located okay um, I didn't do anything here. Now, uh, go back here. Screen settings. You're, when you first buy, or not? Excuse me. Actually, this is a free app. When you first load this app, you're only gonna have. You're only gonna see one screen, one settings, and that's it. In order to add two, three, and of course, if you want to have more, four, five, six, you have to click on this plus sign or push on this plus sign, and. Set, screen settings one and as you can see it says leftmost screen that is for the one on the far left so go ahead and click that now if you see picture source I labeled the images appropriately so left would be obviously left so what you need to do is you're gonna use the picture 
left. Now find it here under the Mega Boss wallpaper and it would be this one right here, okay? The one in the middle. Well, in middle for me, I don't know if it would show up the same, okay? That would be, and if you've done it correctly, it would be left, okay? Now don't resize, L make sure that everything is same as common settings, okay? So of course, you can override those here. Um, just leave that alone. Now you want to add another one for the home screen. So this would be home, same thing. And then you would want to do the same thing for the number three, which would be the right JPEG. Now I've included those PSD files if you guys want to tweak them and do other things to make it look different. By all means, that's part of sharing, right? Um, now, the other thing that just want to make sure that you, you're aware of is the transition type. I have mine as crossfade. There's different types of transitions. Basically, you know, when you're scrolling over the type of transition it has. I've seen a couple cool ones and just experiment with this. This really depends on how you want uh, to yours to show up. I, I'll show you mine is again, crossfade. I think the default one is slide, which is kind of funky. I didn't really like it. Um, the next thing is, um, let's see here. There's one more thing that I think is important. Uh, workaround for some home apps. Make sure that you ignore vertical movement. If you're having any problems, this workaround, I'm not sure if it's defaulted to this or if it's none, but I did find a couple of issues and I once, I've, once I uh, push the ignore vertical or I tick this, it uh, got rid of my issue. Other than that, that's it. Go back, set wallpaper, and it'll automatically do this. So it'll change the background to whatever it was that you um, that you have. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. It's this widget here that you uh, see the Google bar. Um, so that was really simple, right? Um, if you've done the other boss videos, it should be very, very easy. Now you're going to ask me, Armando, how did you get these soft keys? How did you get these um, pull down notification? These colors are awesome. How did you get your battery to look green and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I am using Cyanogen Mod 10. This is the Cyanogen Mod I'm using their theme, so it's like a theme within a theme. Uh, this is the TouchWiz theme, okay? And this is why I have, and I love it. I think it works really well. If you look at, for example, my settings, it matches the theme. It has a very colorful look, and I really like that. So, for example, when I go to themes, you'll see that I am using the TouchWiz 5.0. This is a paid theme to make it look more, I guess, like TouchWiz, and it works. What about the icons down here? This is the Nova Launcher, oops, there we go, let me just show you. This is Nova Launcher, and I am using, look and feel, icon theme, I'm using the MyUI X2, and this is a free one, okay? Again, I felt, sorry for that glare there, I felt that this matched the theme the best. These, these uh, icons look great, and it also changes the icons over here. Okay, so you could do whatever you want. This is just the way I like it, and of course you can change the icons and make them different. But anyhow, guys, I hope you guys like this tutorial. It was actually shorter than I like, shorter than I thought it was going to be. Um, I just really quick. I like this is one of my favorite themes. This is going to be my daily driver, just because I'm able to do this. This was huge for me, and I tweaked the original one from Colorful Visuals. I will put the link down below if you want his original. Um, his original doesn't have this on top and it has a dedicated um, bottom buttons, which again, I like the dynamic. I like to be able to move these around and switch them. One more thing, if you did my restore, I don't know if you paid attention to the green. I really like the green. Green just to me represents Android. So uh, you can change that. Let me just show you really quick. And then we're off to something else. <laughs> okay. Here, I believe it's under look and feel, color theme. I changed that to green. Another thing that I have, this is actually important, is I added the notification. You have to download this separate. It is called Tesla Unread Plugin. Okay, so when I get a text message, unfortunately I don't have one right now, it'll show a little one, two, how many different messages I have. It's really cool, I like it. and. Again, this is my favorite thing. Hopefully other themers out there can take this idea and really step it up because I'd like to see more um, creative themes. There's a lot of creative themes out there, but really pushing Android to the limits. So that is how to theme your phone like a mega boss, okay? I left the link below so you can download the files, put them on your SD card or internal storage. And I've left the source files there too if you want to modify all of the different PSDs and you know, make it your own, which is what I have done. So I've 
gave you guys a really good starting point and please share them. Uh, put them on my Google Plus. Some of you have actually emailed me or sent me a Twitter link of what your theme looks like and hopefully other themers out there can see how to use that multi uh, live wallpaper and create amazing things. Hopefully this will be the start of something uh, amazing. So anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed my channel. I, I'm going to be doing videos every week. So I know I told you guys Tuesday, but I'm actually going to be scattering them out throughout the week. So new videos weekly, multiple videos. Last week I put, put out three. So I'm listening to you guys. Remember, this is your channel. So you tell me what type of videos you guys want to see. So if you guys want to see Windows versus Android, I tell you right now that is one of the most requested videos. I am going to do it. So do not worry. Um, Leave your comments down below. And once again, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Share this with all of your friends and family. That is really important so that they can see the customization that Android has. Not only that, hopefully some other themers out there can get ideas. So please share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Let everybody know how awesome Android really is. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Adios.